Albert Einstein once stated that no matter how advanced our telescopes become, we would never be able to witness the very beginning of the universe. However, a recent discovery made by the James Webb Telescope has captured something extraordinary that could be closely linked to the Big Bang. Instead of stars and galaxies, what was observed was a vast emptiness, raising questions about whether this could indeed be the inception of everything we know. Join us on this cosmic journey. So Einstein was right. Webb Telescope observed emptiness, no stars, in the extremely early universe. This groundbreaking finding holds the potential to provide us with crucial answers regarding our existence and shed light on the conditions that prevailed in the early universe. It seems that Albert Einstein's intuition was likely correct. How can we possibly observe an event that seemingly emitted no light? Not only did this event occur in complete darkness, but it was also of such immense magnitude that it defies our physical comprehension. According to prevailing theories, our universe emerged from a minuscule point approximately 13.8 billion years ago, a singularity that emerged from a state of perfect equilibrium due to a tiny irregularity. This singularity eventually evolved into the universe as we know it today. Interestingly, remnants of this original point can still be found within black holes in our universe. The gravitational forces within these black holes are so incredibly strong that they approach infinity, confounding our measurement techniques. The James Webb Telescope, NASA's latest space observatory, has now captured images of a black hole and a vast void at the dawn of time, potentially preceding the appearance of the first stars in the cosmos. Just imagine the early universe shortly after the Big Bang a scorching, dense mix of particles and radiation expanding at an astonishing rate. At this stage, there was no conventional light as we know it because photons, the fundamental particles of light, constantly interacted with dense free protons and electrons, unable to traverse space freely. It took around 380,000 years after the Big Bang for the universe to cool down enough to allow the formation of the first neutral atoms, primarily hydrogen and helium. As the cooling progressed, photons gained the ability to move freely, giving rise to the cosmic microwave background. However, the universe remained in darkness since there were no light sources like stars or galaxies. Yet, several hundred million years after the Big Bang, the process of reionization commenced with the formation of the first stars and galaxies. These young hot stars emitted intense ultraviolet radiation, which ionized the surrounding neutral hydrogen atoms. This ionization split the hydrogen atoms into protons and free electrons, making the universe increasingly permeable to ultraviolet and visible light. The formation of the first stars and galaxies was initiated by gravity, causing gas clouds, particularly hydrogen and helium, to condense. Within these condensed regions, the pressure and temperature increased to the point where nuclear fusion ignited in the cores of these first stars, generating light and illuminating the universe for the first time. Their radiance significantly contributed to the reionization process, gradually rendering the universe more transparent. The radiation emitted by these stars and galaxies was potent enough to ionize the dense fog of neutral hydrogen that had pervaded the universe until that point. This ongoing process persisted until the entire intergalactic medium was predominantly ionized, signifying the end of the Dark Ages and the birth of the universe as we currently understand it. Thus, even with the most advanced telescopes, our observation is limited to the point when the universe became transparent and light could freely propagate. Until now, scientists had presumed that this milestone occurred approximately 380,000 years after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope, renowned as the most advanced and powerful telescope to date, is on a mission to uncover the secrets of the universe's origins. Equipped with 16 honeycomb-shaped mirrors and cutting-edge infrared technology, this remarkable telescope captures light signals that have traveled to us for an astonishing 13.5 billion years. Already, it has made significant strides by discovering ancient galaxies. Now, it has made yet another thrilling finding a black hole that existed a mere 500 million years after the Big Bang. This revelation challenges our understanding of the early universe and the objects it contained. This particular black hole, though not among the largest known, is remarkably old and unusually massive, 
weighing in at around 10 million times the mass of our sun. Black holes are essentially patches of immense emptiness, devoid of matter. However, they possess an extraordinary property, gravity, allowing them to attract surrounding matter in a seemingly magical manner. You might wonder how something seemingly empty can carry such weight. Scientists explain this by suggesting that black holes gain mass as they consume matter, or that mysterious dark matter plays a role. Dark matter, like black holes, is invisible, but its presence is inferred through its gravitational effects on space-time. Scientists have made another astonishing observation about the black hole discovered by James Webb. It is growing at an incredibly rapid rate, leaving researchers puzzled as to the cause. If we extrapolate the growth rates we observe in present-day black holes, this particular black hole would have to be older than the universe itself, a seemingly impossible scenario. However, we cannot dismiss this entirely, as there are theories proposing the existence of certain elements of our cosmos in a precursor universe. It is also plausible that black holes in the early universe possessed entirely different characteristics from those we have studied up close. James Webb's series of captivating discoveries have shaken established theories and exposed flaws in our current understanding of cosmology. Enormous black holes that grow at unprecedented rates and galaxies that appear to predate the universe challenge the foundations of previously accepted theories and calculations related to the Big Bang and its aftermath. Scientists now face a formidable challenge, one that may lead to a complete re-evaluation of our cosmological worldview. New theories are emerging, and old ones are being revisited. For instance, the theory of variable physical constants suggests that the laws governing the universe at its inception differed significantly. Fundamental physical constants, such as the gravitational constant or the fine structure constant, may have had entirely different values during the early stages of the universe. Such variations could explain the rapid growth of galaxies and the mysterious expansion of black holes. Another intriguing approach worth mentioning is the theory of quantum gravity, which aims to reconcile Einstein's general theory of relativity with the principles of quantum mechanics. While the theory of relativity explains forces and phenomena on a large scale, including gravity, quantum mechanics deals with the behavior of the tiniest particles and the forces acting within that realm. During the early moments of the universe near the Big Bang, when everything was extremely small and dense, Quantum gravity may have governed the laws of physics. However, scientists primarily relied on Einstein's physics of the largest phenomena when formulating the Big Bang theory and calculating the early evolution of the universe. This mismatch may have introduced errors, and James Webb's discoveries now provide evidence of such discrepancies. In summary, scientists currently find themselves facing an intricate puzzle that requires solving. The concept of the Big Bang Theory originated in the 1920s when Belgian astronomer and priest Georges Lemaitre proposed that the universe sprang forth from a single compressed primordial point, expanding from an incredibly dense and hot state. Lemaitre initially referred to this as the hypothesis of the primordial atom. The idea gained further support through the observations of American astronomer Edwin Hubble who in the late 1920s discovered that distant galaxies were moving away from Earth, with greater distances corresponding to swifter speeds of recession. Scientists interpreted this as evidence of the universe's expansion over time. Additional theories were incorporated to complement these foundational assumptions, ultimately shaping our cosmological worldview. Much of this understanding was based on observations and calculations. Yet, we now encounter phenomena that no longer fit neatly within these established patterns and frameworks. The exact timing of the first black hole formations in the universe remains a subject of ongoing research and exploration. There are different theories regarding the formation of the first black holes, and scientists are actively studying this topic to gain a better understanding of the early universe. One prevailing theory suggests that the first black holes were formed from the remnants of massive stars, referred to as Population 3 stars, which emerged a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These early stars, believed to be short-lived, would have ended their lives in colossal supernova explosions, potentially leaving behind black holes as remnants. 
Another theory proposes that black holes could have formed even before the first stars under certain circumstances. Rotating dust disks that had the potential to form stars could collapse directly into black holes. This would imply that black holes existed prior to the emergence of the first stars. Furthermore, there are observations of supermassive black holes that existed in the early universe, with masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of our sun. Understanding how these black holes attain such enormous sizes in a relatively short period of time is an ongoing challenge for scientists. One hypothesis suggests that they may have been formed through the merging of smaller black holes as they absorbed matter and combined with other black holes. However, this scenario requires the presence of stars and matter falling into these black holes. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its exceptional capabilities, has the potential to provide valuable insights into the early universe by peering deeper into space than any previous telescope. It can reveal the first galaxies and quasars powered by supermassive black holes. Acting as a kind of time machine, the telescope allows us to observe light emitted billions of years ago, providing a direct view into the secrets of the early universe. The discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope have brought forth unexpected phenomena, presenting astronomers with a great mystery and the need to find answers to unravel the enigmas of the cosmos. As the James Webb Space Telescope unveils the secrets of the early universe, the enigmatic formation of the first black holes emerges as a captivating cosmic puzzle, challenging our understanding and beckoning scientists to delve further into the mysteries that lie within the depths of space and time. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.